Welcome to the FTP on FPGA implementation of digital design with Verilog HDL. I, Dr. Suchitra, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, will be presenting on Interface the Hardware to Spartan 3 XC3S50 board and obtain the required output. The aim is to interface a DC motor to FPGA and write Verilog code to change its speed and direction. Let us first look into the logic for changing the speed of DC motor. For varying the speed of DC motor, pulse width modulation technique is used wherein the on period of the pulse will be varied keeping the time period constant. Varying the duty cycle, the speed of DC motor can be varied. The DC motor interface unit consists of PWM output through the port line to control the effective armature voltage. This is the interface diagram for speed control of DC motor with three input switches. Eight different combinations can be given. Correspondingly, we can have eight different speed of rotation of DC motor. That is, 0, 0, 0 condition of switch represents the speed 0 and 1, 1, 1 represents the maximum speed of DC motor and in between combinations represents the in between speeds. The pulse width output connected to the trans base of the transistor with during the T on of the pulse the transistor will be in on condition. The voltage will be applied across the DC motor. During the off period of the pulse the transistor will be in off condition. This continuous on off pulse width waveform results in an average value of voltage to be applied across the DC motor. This is more clear in this slide. Here we have a PWM output with 25% duty cycle and the average voltage applied will be equal to duty cycle into the maximum voltage that is 12 volt. 0.25 into 12 volt is equal to 3 volts. Here we have a duty cycle of 50% due to which the average voltage will be equal to 6 volts. With 75% duty cycle, the average voltage is equal to 9 volts. 100% duty cycle, the voltage is equal to 12 volts. So we can observe here as we increase the speed. So you can observe here as we increase the duty cycle, the average value of voltage applied across the DC motor also increases thereby increases the speed of the DC motor. The logic to change the direction of rotation is a H-bridge circuit is used to enable voltage to be applied across a motor in either direction. So this is the H-bridge circuit having four switches. At a time two switches will be made active. For example if switch S1 and S4 are closed, S2 and S3 are in off condition then the direction of current flowing through the motor will be from A towards B. Suppose if we switch on S2 and S3 and the switches S1 and S4 are in off condition then the direction of current flowing through the motor will be from B to A. So by changing the direction of current flowing through the DC motor we can change the direction of rotation of the DC motor. So this is the logic for varying the speed of the DC motor as well as changing the direction of rotation of DC motor. So this is the h bridge circuit where the switches are realized using NPN transistors. The four transistors J1, J2, J3 and J4. The two base points of the transistors J1 and J4 are connected to a common point named as h bridge 0 and the two base points of Transistors J3 and J2 are connected to a common point and named as H bridge 1. Suppose if H bridge 0 is given value as 1 and H bridge 1 as 0, the transistors J1 and J4 will be in on condition and the transistors J2 and J4 will be in off condition resulting in the direction of current flowing through the motor from left towards the right. 
Now suppose if I make H bridge 1 and H bridge 0 as 0, the transistors J3 and J2 will be on and J1 and J4 will be off, resulting in the flow of current through the motor from right towards the left. So with opposite direction of current flowing through the DC motor, there can be change in the direction of rotation of the DC motor. This is the interface diagram for both changing the speed of the DC motor as well as changing the direction of rotation of the DC motor. The three switches which can be used to vary the speed of the DC motor, the two points H bridge 0, H bridge 1 to change the direction of rotation of DC motor. The Verilog code starts with the keyword module. The name for the module is given as DC motor, the port list including clock, direction, the inputs, speed 3 bit corresponding to the three switches, output single bit PWM, output H bridge control to change the direction of rotation of DC motor, it is 2 bit. All the inputs are initialized to begin with. This portion of the code is for clock division. We will be using the delayed clock. Here we have the different counts corresponding to different T on periods. So as the count is increased, the duty cycle also increases, thereby increasing the speed of rotation. Speed here represents the three input switches combination. So with 0, 0, 0 combination we have speed 0 and with different combinations of speed as 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, the count is being incremented thereby the speed also increases. With 1, 1, 1 we have the final time period count corresponding to the final time period and have the maximum speed of rotation. So here are the two bit outputs H bridge control 0 and H bridge control 1 bit. By giving either of the H bridge control bit 1, any two transistors will be on and the other transistors, other two transistors will be in off condition and thereby we can change the direction of rotation of DC motor. Once the count reaches the final value, it is once again brought back to 0. So along with, the design, uh, along with the design file, the UCF file also to be added, that is a user constraint file. So this is the user constraint file with pins being assigned to various inputs and outputs. So next we will see the demo of DC motor. Welcome to the demo session of interfacing a DC motor to FPGA and change the speed and direction of rotation of DC motor. This is the experimental setup. It includes Xilinx Spartan 3 board. This is the supply for the board. This is the edge bridge circuit and the DC motor. These are the four switches, three of which are used for speed control and one switch for direction control. The four outputs from FPGA, one is the PWM output, the other two H-bridge outputs. Invoke the Xilinx ISC tool. The first step is to create a new project. Click on the option file. Set the path. Enter the name for the project. Check the specifications. Complete the creation of new project. Once the project is created, we need to enter the design. 
So let us enter the design. in a new file and then we'll save it and then add it to the project. Add it to the project. Next step is to check for the syntax. After successfully completing the design, it must be synthesized. The process involves converting Verilog source file into netlist. Along with the design file, we need to also give the user constraint file wherein we need to assign the pins for the inputs and outputs that were declared. So let us assign the pins for the inputs clock and direction and for the outputs of H bridge, PWM and the speed control switches. and then implement the design. So it is the process of converting all netlist into an FPGA specific patterns. So it includes translate, map, place and route. The final step is generate learning file. It converts the design into a format that FPGA understands or it converts it into a bit file. Program the FPGA with the bit file. Once the program is successfully downloaded, let us observe the variations in speed and direction change of DC motor. The three input switches that are used to control the speed of the DC motor is set to 1, that is for high speed of rotation. Can observe the high speed of rotation. Now, by changing the direction switch position, we can change the direction of rotation of DC motor. So, we can observe the direction of rotation of DC motor being changed, which is controlled through the direction switch, that is the fourth switch. By giving the other combination of input to the speed control switches, we can reduce the speed of rotation. So the speed of rotation is being reduced. Thank you.